I'm so, so, so excited. I love, love, love uh, the August kits. And yeah, let's start with the papers. So uh, this is the main kit. This is from Crate Paper Wonder, the Wonder Collection, which is kind of um, a bit of childhood themed collection, but I think it can be um, used for, you know, many, many things. And this paper is called Dream. And this side is like this <laughs> nice cut apart sheet. I love these like whimsical uh, images, but so you could totally cut this up. Um, <laughs> like this moody cat. Yeah, um, but if that's not your thing, then this is just a really great um, neutral pattern. It would be great for layering. Um, for me, it's a little bit busy as a background, but also if you put like the um, like calmer uh, papers behind your photo, then um, you can totally use this as a background. And I think I'm getting kind of dizzy staring at it for too long, so I'll stop. This is uh, Rise and Shine Amy Tangerine. Sorry, I hear things outside. The postman was a sneaky little thing today. Um, well, it's possible that he thought nobody was at home because all the shutters were down because it's so hot outside that, uh, and we don't have air condition. So if the sun gets in, it gets like hotter. So anyway, I was just passing uh, next to the door and I see something outside and I was like, yay, it's my kid. But anyway, that's so not important. Rise and Shine, this is called Ava, I think. And this side is this lovely kind of aqua watercolored background um, with like these cute triangles here and this bicycle sweet ride. I am getting more and more random with each passing day and um, yeah, I could use this on everything. I don't care if there's like bicycle, no bicycle. Um, yeah, if I like it, I will use it. And this side is this nice uh, pattern, I don't know, it looks like doodles or something with stripes of red and yellow. Pink. <laughs> Have a bit of a brain problem today. Well, most days, but let's just ignore that. Um, this is from the gorgeous, gorgeous collection from Pink Fresh Studio. It's called, the collection is called Happy Things and it's gorgeous. And this paper is called Rustic Triangles Triangle Pattern. And well, you can see the side is this lovely, colorful triangle paper. <laughs> and this side is kind of like a wood grain um, with these white triangles. Um, I think this side is really easy to use. Uh, because it's so neutral and lovely, but still interesting. But I love this. I mean, look at all the pretty colors. There's like pinks and aquas and a feather. I mean, it's all the things that one could possibly want in a piece of paper. Uh, this is Simple Stories. Maybe I will just <laughs> flip all the papers so I don't have to flip them individually. Simple Stories, Summer Vibes, Yellow Wood um, slash Grid. So this is Yellow Wood and this is Yellow Grid. And I have to say that I like this side. Um, I think with this side what bothers me is, uh, I think it's like a really easy to use paper, but I'm not a huge fan of the black here. And here it's white. So this, even though they are kind of similar, this to me is like much much softer and I think I will use this one or if I use this one it'll probably just be you know like really as a border or something like that but this one just speaks to me yes my papers speak to me 
Happy Things Pink Fresh Studio and this side is this lovely colorful kind of pattern. <laughs> Let's call it a pattern. And this side is um, this lovely cut apart sheet which I really really like. I love the colors in this collection. It's just really beautiful colors. Uh, the paper is called Happy Words slash Rustic Pattern. So these are probably the happy words and this is the rustic pattern. <laughs> um, I like cutting up these papers but I also like to use them as a strip like either a, a horizontal or a vertical and I think then you have like a good anchor for your design. So um, yeah but you can also cut them. I mean these are would be really fun to cut out like you know as the well, odd shaped circle or here. Um, you could cut like the hearts, you could cut the words. So you don't have to stay with a three by three uh, square. I like that, the weird shapes. From Happy Things, Pink Fresh Studio. I love this paper. Um, this is kind of like a watercolored ombre wash type of thing in this beautiful minty color with the little stars and this side is this gorgeous leafy pattern <laughs> leafy leafy <laughs> ah, that was an episode in friends um where phoebe said we were going for more leafy anyway um this is called botanicals so this is the botanicals slash sparkle and I love this. I love both sides. I'm happy I have two. From Seven Paper, this is called Amelia, and this um, I think their papers are numbered as opposed to names, which I find very impersonal. I mean, come on, Seven Papers, what are you thinking? Um, it's Studio Calico. This is number two. Who's number one? I am number four. Wow, I have very random um, thoughts today. <laughs> I like this side. Um, I think this is the type of... I love these papers. It's kind of, I guess, a tone on tone. Not really, because the words are white, but <laughs> the background is kind of a textured, lovely watercolored pink thing. Um, I think these papers kind of sum up why I love pattern papers uh, as opposed to just a piece of pink paper. It's just so much more interesting and fun. And if you're not into, you know, this type of thing, <laughs> you have a nice simple grid that is great for background, great for journaling, um, you know, neutral goes with everything else and yeah, you know, it's a, it's really easy to use, like such papers, they're really, really easy to use, but I mean, it's so pink and pretty. <laughs> I have to, everything's good. So another one from Seven Paper, this is the number four paper, and this side is kind of a nice warm red with these plus signs in white and uh, a little bit like aqua and pink. And I love this side. This is like triangles. Yes, they are pink on white and then there are the occasional red ones. Um, I think both sides will be really easy to use. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It, it just goes, I mean, so well. Like this red is such a good match to the one from the Pink Fresh collection and the Wonder collection. Really, really great combo. So these are the A-sides, I think. And if I can ever lift this paper, I will show you the B-sides. Look at all these beautiful colors. So many possibilities. Love it. So which one should we leave? Okay. So these are the papers that come in the main kit. And in the main kit we get, I'll start from the alpha, because for me, I mean, alpha is like, you know, you need them, but 
they're not as exciting as the other things. I mean, I don't want to offend the alphas because, you know, they're basics and we need them and it's like offending like a really great jeans. But no, it's not like that at all. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I will try to be as enthusiastic <laughs> about <laughs> these alphas as about the other things, but the other things are so pretty. So these are called charm. They are corrugated letter stickers. There are 135 and I think they are from the Wonder Collection, the Crate Paper Collection, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I think, you know, it's like, they're not pink. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, no, but I think, I think the neutral color makes them really easy to use with um, every paper here. So that's the good thing about mixing some neutrals in. And um, yeah, you know, I, I trust Kimberly. Uh, she does her job so, so, so wonderfully. Uh, because if it was up to me, you'll probably get pink <laughs> stickers every month. <laughs> or gold. <laughs> or aqua. Um, so uh, yeah, so I think it's a good choice. And these, we were discussing these because these were kind of um, a substitute for another uh, gold, like, letter stickers. Uh, but these are, like, super, super new. They are from We Are Memory Keepers. They are called Wildflower. And I think it's, like, a new collection that, I don't know, is not even out, coming out. I have no idea. But these are so gorgeous. I mean, they are, you know, lovely chipboard gold foiled and just beautiful scripted words. I love them. I, I just love these. If you, if you follow like my channel, you know I love having these because it saves me from thinking and coming up with titles even though I'm getting better at that. But I just, I love these. I'm so, so happy to use them. And for embellishments, we get this huge Great paper. They always make these like huge, huge ephemera packs that are great because, you know, they last you. They just keep going and going. And this one has 59 pieces, uh, including some uh, felt hearts, which are very cute. Um, I might try to create some clusters before, um, before I start actually making layouts, which was what I did with the poolside uh, ephemera pack that we got in June, I think, in June, um, because then it was like really easy to use them on my layouts. The thing is that I am flying in two days uh, to visit my family in Israel and I don't know how much time I'll have to play, so we'll see what I can, what I can do. I might prefer to make a layout than to make these uh, clusters, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, there's a very nice variety. Besides the felt hearts, there are like some cards, um, a couple of tags, um, like lots of little um, like tabs and labels, and just cute bits and pieces, a few words, little one, wonder, um, you know, a nice camera, a couple of florals, so really a great variety, like crate paper, um, no and do. And these two are so pretty. So I'll start with this because it's bigger. So no, like, I don't mean to discriminate the tiny ones, but, you know, I usually add these at the end of my process. So there is no logic here, so don't try to find it. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. Uh, happy Things collection, and yes, they are Studio Puffs. They are puffy stickers, and I love them. You're super surprised, I know. I just love them. I think they are adorable, and I will enjoy using them. This is like the type of thing that I could use, like three sheets without a problem. And from the Wonder Collection by Crate, 47 enamel dots and... Um, sequence, which are, <laughs> I already have adhesive, which makes me think that, you know, we're becoming lazier and lazier, but 
I'm happy about it. It makes it really, you know, easy to use. So, um, yeah, so these are like great accents and the colors just match, I mean, beautifully. I mean, look at this, like the yellows and the aquas and it's just, and the soft pink, it's just a perfect match. So, this was the beautiful, beautiful main kit and I already see that this will be a long share video. My July one was way too long. Don't know what I, but I had so many things to say. So these are the paper add-ons that you can get. You can get a pattern paper add-on, which is, I would say, always like my must-have, and the um, cardstock add-on. So the paper add-on has all the papers in the main kit. Um, plus, I think this month there are a couple of extra ones. So let me just find them. There is this paper that is not in the main kit, um, which is gorgeous. It's also from the Happy Things. It's called Ombre, Mo Ombre Mosaic, Mosaic slash Confetti Circle. And this side is this lovely Ombre Mosaic type of pattern. And this side is this beautiful uh, pattern. I think this would be just a really easy background. You know, you slap your photo somewhere here, you add some more embellishments, and you're done. But this is so pretty too. So I kind of wish there were two of these. But um, yeah, you know, we have to deal with all kinds of things. And this one is also, I didn't know, it came in the pattern paper add-on. Um, this one is called Cheerful, also from Crate Paper, the Wonder Collection. And this side has these cute little uh, drawn houses. And this side is this and lovely, this lovely, lovely um, vellum, vellum, vellum. It says here, right here it says, you only have to read, gold foil on vellum. And it has these dots. It's really, really adorable. And then the other papers are the same like the main kit. So, yeah, I think that's all, right? Oh, I don't have here the cut apart sheet from Crate Paper, so I don't know. I don't know if it's, um, I have to check if it's like all the same or if I got some variation, but um, yeah, they're all fabulous. I love these papers. Cardstock. Um, I think I've been doing some different things for me with cardstock lately. Um, actually, with my July kit, I cut it up more. I've been using a lot of white cardstock, and then I've been just really enjoying cutting up these and using them as layers on my layouts. On my layouts. <laughs> what type of accent is that? Nobody knows. I just made it up. So you get two pink ones, two lovely aqua ones. I think this looks really great with white. So I think it's just, you know, it's really fun to cut them up and just use them like that. Um, these are, I think, well, I don't think they are gray, but I can't remember the name. <laughs> um, dark gray. It's actually a really beautiful gray. Um, I always struggle with dark colors, so we'll see how I use them. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Two vellum sheets, which I always love. Two craft uh, sheets, which I've also been cutting up and using with white cardstock, and I love that. Um, it's it works really well with uh, neutrals. So I've I will show you slowly throughout the month, like all the layouts that I created with the July kit, because there are already twelve. I think four are on my channel, so that means I have. <laughs> eight more to share, but um, I've had a really busy week. My daughter is home, and uh, so we've been spending a lot of time together, and I didn't have uh, time to, you know, edit my videos. So, um, yeah, and now I'm going to Israel for a week, so everything will have to wait a little bit, but when I come back, I will try to be uh, efficient and, yeah, post everything, and two white pieces of cardstock. So that's the cardstock add-on. Let's go to the embellishment add-on. I love, love it. 
So this month we get, start with the alphas, and they are gold and pretty, and they are Dear Lizzie, they are called Woodland Gold Foil on Foam, which I love, I love foam, foam are my favorites, and um, I just find they stick better. Whoa, those are lots of numbers, so I'll have to figure out a way what to do with all the numbers. Um, I love these letters, um, I love the size, you know, you get a lot of vowels and you can get a lot of words from them. Yeah, I'm super happy to have the gold uh, choice. What else we get? Oh, I'm so happy about this. This one is, these are the thickers from Dear Lizzie from her uh, Fine and Dandy collection and uh, they are called Darling Details. It's printed cardstock phrases and accents. There are 43 and it's kind of like birthday themed, um, which I am happy about because my daughter had her birthday in July. So I have a few pictures from that and I was waiting um, to, I was waiting for this to um, scrapbook those photos. So I'm happy about them, but there are a lot of things that, um, you know, you could use for any layout. And yeah, you know, like happy day. That doesn't have to be a birthday. And eat cake. I mean, that's just a regular day in my life. Come on. What else? I don't know what what to go on with because it's all so good. Um, from Pink Fresh Studio, these are wood veneer stickers. There are 31 pieces and I love them. They are, I don't know, I thought it was kind of like etch, etched or something, but I don't know, it looked printed or stamped. It's it's lovely. Um, you could ink them and customize them, but I think with actually, you know I love color. Sorry about the phone, I so have to go, but I just have to finish uh, talking about this awesome kit. So I think with all the colors, um, you know, with the other embellishments, I think this is a great combo to have also some neutrals. Having said that, I do not promise not to alter them and make them, you know, pink. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, these are rubber charms from Pink Fresh Studio, Happy Things, and there are eight pieces. And you have like these four tags and then these four um, kind of smaller um, pieces. I love these. I'm wondering how you know, how easy the big ones are going to be um, to use. But uh, we'll see when I get started. I might just, you know, put them in a row on one layout and, um, you know, go with that. So I don't know. We'll see. It's just a different type of embellishment. So I have to see how I work with it. Uh, from Pink Fresh Studio, acetate die cuts. There are 20 pieces and they are like triangles and I think there are two from every pattern and they are super cute and lovely and I'm happy to I love the colors I'm very happy about those and I think these are from a flare for button buttons and we get three one is like this yellow heart well it's a white heart but the background is yellow this one says now and this one is an ampersand and last but not least, there's this uh, masking tape tags from Dear Lizzie, and it's just a really lovely washi that is huge. And yeah, there's just a lot of patterns here. So I ripped it. Um, <laughs> I think this will be fun to use, you know, if you don't rip it. So, which I continue to do. And there's like hello, and then you get all kinds of lovely, um, you know, words and just patterns, and it's just a lot of fun. And I am so, so naughty. I will continue and only go after I'm <laughs> done with a little bit more <laughs> of showing you. The color kit this month is super fun. We get two dilution uh, paints in bubblegum pink and lemon zest and 
these are supposed to work really well with the sprays so if you got the sprays came in a previous uh, color kit in the same color as bubblegum pink and lemon zest so I think I will try to combine them um, and yeah lots of playtime and to play with these goodies uh, Kim Watson designed these um, stencils which I am very happy about because I love stencils and I'm trying to find something that will show and they're nice and sturdy and I think this is better you can see the pattern so there are five of them and this one says just be you this one has this cute triangle this one is this lovely kind of circle thing um, this one has these little bows which are perfect because they also have this um, element in the pink fresh uh, collection and probably my favorite cute clouds I love cute clouds and a few stars so it just totally fits the vibe of the kit I love it I really don't know where I'm gonna start with this kit moving on last but not least the project life kit which you do not have to be a project lifer to um, use because it's awesome and um, a lot of members from the design team don't do project life and they use the kit on their layouts it's just lots of like really great uh, bits and pieces in these kits so start with the alphas these are goodness and they are Amy Tangerine thickers they are printed chipboard letter stickers and they are kind of this light wood grain and there's like a ton of letters here I find these very easy to use uh, I love the Amy Tan thickers she really comes up with like great um, fonts that just look great on everything and we get also a whole package of these alpha sticker sheets which will last me eternity I might as well start writing like poems and long quotes these are from pink fresh studio and they come in five colors so you have the green this kind of a peachy pink a pink a darker pink um, a light blue and this kind of mustardy yellow and I love the font these are super cute and I love it that there are so many so you can really you know enjoy them and write um, like a lot with them we get oh, so much stuff from freckled fawn glitter hearts 29 pieces and these are silver gold and um, like hot pink and the gold ones like some of them well not the gold ones there are like a couple of gold ones and a couple of sil silver ones that are kind of divided so there's the frame and then there's the tiny heart inside which also which only has like the border is silver or gold and it looks oh there are also a couple of the pink ones uh, it looks really cool so these are super fun we have stickers from Heidi Swap and there are 12 pieces yeah it's just these uh, gold label stickers so really great for project life we get these tags from American Crafts and they are beautiful so there's like this one which is has like this gold foiling on it and these ones have kind of a watercolor effect and this one is just I'm not sure if everyone gets the same ones but they're really lovely and I love the colors I mean you know pink and teal <laughs> perfect uh, I really like this washi it has a great color it's teal and white and it goes really well with everything and the cards are exclusive to hip kits and designed by Kim Watson and oh I made a faux pas I did not cut this in advance I'm sorry and now I have to run okay 
here we go. So I'll start with the four by six. This one says week of. This one says love and life. Oh, I love this. Random thoughts. I love this. This is so like whimsical and cute. Life is good. And ah, oh, just be you. Look at these beautiful shades of mint and aqua. Gorgeous. And the three by fours. Hello, August. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. I love you because, oh yes, it happened. Blah, blah, blah. I love the colors. This has a pattern and a small space for whatever you want. Follow your dreams. Hello, month, year. This happened. Love the ombre effect. Oh yes, we did it. We did this. Celebrate life. Our all-time faves. Overheard. You did what? August 215. Memories are made of this. You can do anything and write it all down. And that is it for this month. Um, I'll try to upload this today. It's the 14th. September kits are revealed tomorrow at some American time. So that's usually <laughs> on the 16th uh, in the morning for me. Um, but there are some sneak peeks on the HipKit member forum and it looks awesome, but I am so in love with these kits, so I can't even think about cheating on them with other kits. It's just not right. But um, keep your eyes open for the September kits. Sparkly hearts. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.